Good morning and happy November 28th, 2022. For those of you who might recognize or actually pay attention, yes, I am wearing the same clothes as last week when uh, you saw me on the news. That is because we, were, we recorded both of these segments on Friday, November 18th ahead of time, so we were ready for it. So this is the same day for me doing both of these announcements. That said, welcome back from your Thanksgiving break. I hope you did find some time to relax and have some fun, uh, and I hope that you ate plenty of good food. I know I did, and I'll have a lot of exercising to do this week. We've got four weeks left. Ladies and gentlemen, push hard, uh, and know that here in, in four weeks, your grades are finalized. And as soon as they're finalized, that means you either earned a credit or you did not earn a credit. Freshmen, as Mr. Snyder and I came around and spoke to all of your English classes, you must get these credits. You must be on track to graduate. So if you haven't been getting in your teacher's classes during warrior time, ask to sign out, go see your teachers, get whatever help and assistance you need. That's what they're there for. That's what we're here for. So take advantage of the time that you have four days a week. Okay, four weeks to go. We got it. Make this the best week of November 28th, 2022 you'll ever have. Good morning, Warriors. I'm Zach Bowen. And I'm Jaden Boggs. Today on Warrior News, birthdays, the menus, sports schedules, pop culture, and Braxton brings us part two of the music department. Here is this week's birthdays. Welcome back, Warriors. Hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving break. The National Guard recruiter will be outside the cafeteria today. The Marines recruiter will be here Wednesday. Sounds like Miss Long, Miss Tackett, and Ms. Puckett had a great time in the Pathway CTE welding class. Ms. Long got to learn from students how to weld a lap joint in a T-joint. Ms. Tackett was taught how Ohm's Law works with physics and welding. Thank you Ms. Long and Ms. Tackett and Ms. Puckett for taking the time to see the awesome opportunities that Wallsey High School has for students. Mr. Van Loo sent an email out to students and staff requesting an audio recording of a Christmas liner that will be played on 93.7 FM The Mix when Christmas songs are played. Please email him at jvanloo at walvacy.k12.in.us. The auto recording from your phone. If you didn't get the script, email Mr. Van Loo and he will send it to you. Auditions for the Spring Musical, Tuck Everlasting will take place December 12th through the 15th after school. Please pick up an audition form outside Ms. Bonner's room on the Drama Club bulletin board. These must be signed by a parent, and you must fill out the backside with conflicts. Students are asked to sing a song we teach them, dance a short dance you are taught, and perform a one to two minute monologue that you choose. Monologue examples are available in the Tuck Everlasting Google Classroom. Email Ms. Bonner to be added to the classroom. kbonner at wawasee.k12.in.us Good luck to the theater students heading to the regional competition at Hobart High School this Saturday. They will be performing a short play and competing against many other schools. Break a leg. Congratulations to Wallace Virtual Academy graduates Wyatt Eden and Blair Harker. A 15-foot mural that was created by Mrs. Z and the Wallace High School Art Department has been delivered and installed on the south side of the new Wyona Lake Sunset Pavilion Ice Skating Rink. A lot of time and effort was put into the project, 
and we are proud of the awesome work and representation of Wabasi High School in this project. Once again, thank you to the students and staff for supporting the Key Club Stuff the Bus campaign this year. Here are the results. Ms. Myers and Mr. Ray collected the most items with 422. The most collected per student was Mr. Craig with 33 items per student. Both classes will be treated with a pizza party. All you blew away the goal of 975 items. This year you brought in 1,071 items. This will impact our community greatly this holiday season. Thank you again. Now, here's Sydney with your menus. Let's look at what's on this week's menus. Menu items are subject to change. All breakfast meals are served with grab-and-go items. Tomorrow for breakfast, breakfast bagel. Wednesday, flavored pancakes. Thursday, sausage, egg, and cheese bagel. Friday, breakfast pizza. And next Monday, Dutch waffle. For lunch today, general so chicken over rice or quesadilla. Tomorrow, chicken, bacon, flatbread, or Mexican pizza. Wednesday, homemade chili with Bosco stick or Polish sausage. Thursday, chicken tenders or mac and cheese. And Friday, calzone or barbecue sandwich. Enjoy this week's breakfast and lunch, and make sure to tell the staff thank you for doing an amazing job. Now, back to the studio. Thank you, Sydney. Here's Jet with Pop Culture. Today in pop culture, Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever came out a few weeks ago and was a very respectable movie for the late Chadwick Boseman. Here are some tips for watching. Chronologically, all you need to watch in order to see this movie is the first Black Panther. No other movies in the MCU are required. Also bring glasses or contacts if you're like me and can't see, because it's a good fourth of the movie is in a different language, stretching from Spanish, French, Mayan, and Wakandan. It's also a three hour long movie if you count the end credit scene in which there's only one. So plan your consumption of liquid carefully. Christmas is not too far, and The Santa Clauses is a new re-adaptation TV series of the cherished holiday Christmas movies, The Santa Claus. If you haven't seen those movies, then you can stream them on Disney+. But a quick overview of them is what if a hardworking dad becomes Santa Claus? Returning cast, Tim Allen, Eric Lloyd, Elizabeth Mitchell, and David Krumholtz. The first three episodes are out now, with the next coming out every Wednesday. Watch on Disney+. Plus. This has been your pop culture update. Back to the studio. Thank you, Jet. Here's Braxton with the sports schedules. Here are this week's events, and all events are subject to change. Today, freshman boys basketball will host West Noble. Tomorrow, swim and dive and girls basketball will be home. Thursday, freshman boys and JV and varsity girls basketball will travel, while the varsity wrestling team will host East Noble. Friday, Boys basketball will travel to Manchester, and on Saturday, the boys basketball teams will be on our home court and the wrestling team will compete in the Warsaw Invitational. Let's get out there and support our Warriors. Back to the studio. Thank you, Braxton. Here's Braxton once again to tell us more about the music department. Good morning, Warriors. Today I'm meeting with Mr. Pilecki, our band director here. Would you like to introduce yourself? Absolutely, Braxton. Hi, and my name's Tony Palicki. I am the band director here for Wawasee Schools. Uh, this is my third year at Wawasee and my 13th year overall of teaching. Uh, I began uh, right where a lot of you are sitting in these hallowed halls of Wawasee High School. I'm a 2006 graduate. Uh, I went from here, I went to Notre Dame, uh, marched in the band there for four years. I uh, graduated in 2010 and moved out to Maryland. I pursued a master's degree in education. Uh, and at the same time, I taught at a very small private school. Um, four years later, in 2014, I decided to move home. Uh, there was a job nearby in West Noble Schools, and I took over the band program there. Uh, Braxton was one of my former students. Um, we uh, spent you know, six years there, and uh, when the opportunity came in 2020 to come back home to Wawasee and uh, work on rebuilding the band program here, it was an opportunity I couldn't pass up. So out of all the schools in Indiana, why did you come back to Wawasee? You can't pass up an opportunity to come home. Uh, whether you loved your high school experience or you hated it, having that ability to come and really make an impact on uh, the program that you grew up in, it, it was an opportunity that you can't pass up. Absolutely. So do you have any big plans for this year? 
we have huge plans for this year. Uh, we are in April. We're going down to Disney World. We're going to march in a parade in the Magic Kingdom. Oh, wow. Uh, we're going to do some workshops with some Disney performing artists and just experience the magic of Disney World from a performance perspective. Uh, I got to say, as a former band kid, I'm jealous. Um, so is there anything you'd like to say to the students of what we see? Well, I, you know, for those of you that were in band before and maybe you just kind of uh, walked away from it for one reason or another. It's you know, there's always a chance to come back. A little bit of practice, a little bit of hard work, and you know you could come and join the Marching Warrior Pride. You know we're in our uh, uh, we're coming off of back-to-back -back state finals appearances, and the band's going an upward trajectory. So uh, you know it's it's never too late to come home. They say. Alrighty. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. If students are interested in joining band, talk to the guidance counselors or Mr. Pilecki. This is Braxton Gonzalez with Warrior News. Back to the studio. Thank you for watching Warrior News this week. Signing off, I'm Zach Bowen. And I'm Jaden Boggs. From the CPG TV studios, we thank you for watching. See you next week for more Warrior News.